Pakistani university requires female students to wear a black abaya. So I thought this was kind of interesting. Professor Dr. Bashir Ahmed, the vice chancellor who presides over the academic council meeting held at uh, Bacha Khan University in Pakistan, recently issued guidelines for a new dress code. In doing so, Bashir said that cultural and religious teachings are to be taken into consideration. Female students must wear a black abaya with a white or black scarf. An abaya is customarily black. The dress is fashioned like a relaxed or slightly baggy robe or a kaftan, and it covers everything but the face, hands, and feet. The male students are only allowed to wear a white or black uh, shalwar kameez. The vice chancellor maintains that, quote, proper arrangements should be in place for teaching students the religion, the Quran, and its translations with proper explanation in order to make the younger generation better and responsible citizens, end quote. So I have to say one thing. This is not Pakistani culture. This is Islamic culture, which is not originally the culture of Pakistan. So he's talking about, you know. Um, Actually, Pakistan doesn't have any culture other than Islamic culture. Pakistan's culture is Islamic culture. Pakistan's uh, it, it was technically should be Indian culture. Before right. Israel. That's what I mean. Like the 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 traditional dress or the things that women wore in India or any part of India that then became Pakistan, that is not this. And it really upsets me when they talk about culture in terms of this dress as if it belongs to the traditions of how people, the different groups or tribes or ethnic groups, whatever, dressed. It wasn't like this. This is not... Anyways, it just that just made me... Yeah, it's erasure. Um, oh, Kenji is saying, learning religion would definitely not make them better, more responsible citizens. <laughs> um, I mean, learning about religion is the best way to become an atheist but yeah okay but yeah i, I do want to um somebody in the live chat is also agreeing with me. pakistan has no culture pakistan was founded on islamic principles um yeah i mean if if the, if you could think of any uh country where it's basically just the culture is just basically islam and there is no like if you think about like iran malaysia indonesia there, there is Islam competing with the pre-Islamic culture or Egypt, right? But when it comes to Pakistan, they completely erased what was there before, which was Indian culture, right? It was India. Um, and now it's just basically the culture that, like, it's just Islam, which is... Uh, I don't know, actually, Saudi Arabia is... Um, it's, no, Saudi Arabia. No, it's mostly Pakistan. It's just Pakistan. Pakistan is the only country that is devoid of any other culture than other than islam but yeah which is sad we ah, you can see the results by the way like you see that it's um pretty much it reflects the you, you can see what what happens when you have no culture other than islam you get pakistan so yay islam um yeah ooh, it just good. you're right i mean i you're definitely right i was just thinking about like the tribal dress of all these different groups in that whole area indian or their whatever their ethnic tribe it's not this black abaya we got a super sticker by al uza akbar thank you so much uh hey, oh that's one of the sticker i don't uh, know it's a, it, okay i'm i'm gonna say it's a fox i know everybody disagrees with me it's, it's a shiba a inu oh all right, it's a fox uh, giving us hearts. But anyway, this is this the Al Uza? Okay, never mind. I don't know. As in Al Uza, Allah and Manat? Yes, it is. Yeah, it is. Oh, okay, 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 cool. So one we of have, the daughters. We have of, a daughter of Allah with us right now. We have a daughter of Allah in the live chat. Amazing! What an honor. Uh, what is this tweet referring to? I don't understand this tweet. Can you explain the irony? What irony? What's what's being displayed here? I'm not quite sure. Oh, okay. Maybe because uh, it's supposed to be a university and they're going mm. backwards or they're, mm. you know, I'm not really sure. 
Um, sorry, when I was like, like, did we did we read this part? I I, thought I was trying to get this this guy got this from the article. Did we read this? Part? Um, so Charles is saying university justifies position citing 2018 studies showing misogynistic men are 32 percent less likely to harm women if they mistake them for furniture. <laughs> This person is making a joke. University oh. also cited studies showing men less prone to attack women when they cannot see the woman's facial expressions, especially that look of, quote, utter <laughs> disappointment towards weak-minded men privileged with a superior social status justified by doing nothing more than the words of medieval men justifying their own undeserved superior status. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. That was actually good. Wow, this is pretty funny. Okay. And also subscribe to our newsletter because if we get removed from all these uh, platforms, at least we could reach out to you. And guys, by the way, if you subscribe to our newsletter, you get a free copy. Uh, why there's not? Where's your copy, Susanna? Get it, get it, get it. We're doing promotion. You get a free, it's not even promotion, it's free. Okay, so if you subscribe to our newsletter, link in the description, you get a free copy of Why There's No God. Ah, come on, like I'm handing it out for free. Okay, it's a bestseller on Amazon and you get it for free. So subscribe to our newsletter and you get a free copy of Why There's No God sent to you. Link in the description.